On a level with three turns, a tile can be flipped zero, one, two, or three times. An even number of flips will maintain the original value of the tile, while an odd number of flips will change the value of the tile. If a tile is correctly matched to the original pattern, it needs an even number of flips, and if it's incorrect or unmatched, it needs an odd number. If you're working off the original puzzle, a tile can be correct as either a mushroom or a leaf. But with ticks and crosses, a tile can only be correct if it's correct. The visual and mental processing you're having to do is drastically simplified. All that data from two separate grids intersects into one. You're able to much more quickly and precisely pinpoint the incorrect areas that need to be flipped. In this case, there's a block of six in the bottom right, a block of nine that solves those two ticks with an even number of flips, and a block of six on the left to tidy it up. Okay, problems. With these 6x6 boards, it was simply taking too long to draw the grids. And this system was not dynamic or reactive. You had to plan ahead your entire sequence of flips in your head. And if you tried something on paper and got it wrong, you were stuck with scribbling out and making a right mess. As with many conundrums, the solution was a good scratch. A good scratch. A good scratch. A good scratch. A scratch. 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 Scratch.